everybody, Smooth Cosplayer here, your favorite salsa dancing cosplayer. And tonight I'm going to be doing my first uh, product review, video product review. Uh, I got my uh, a very late Christmas present in the mail uh, very recently. Uh, I got my first lightsaber from Ultra Sabers. This is the Dominic's 4, Dominic's version 4. Um, I got a couple of gift cards for, um, for Christmas. And I decided, you know what, I've been wanting one of these for a while. Um, I wanted to save up and get three of these, not three of the same kind, but three Sabres from Ultra Sabres. I had seen other people's um, video reviews for Ultra Sabres and saw that they can fit about, I've seen people pull five or six of these out of the same package. So you definitely can save, um, save on shipping if you can afford to get a bunch at once. Uh, that's not the case for me right now, but uh, but yeah, so got some money for for Christmas. I said, hey, you know what? Let's do this thing. Um, been wanting for, been wanting one for a while. Uh, I chose this one uh, because I wanted one that looked good, but also didn't have a whole lot going on with it. And I'll explain why uh, in a little bit. But I love this thing as soon as I got it out of the box. I mean, now they say that it's made out of aluminum, and it is, but. For someone who has never touched aluminum other than just, or at least not knowingly touched it, I probably have and didn't know that I did, um, other than aluminum foil, foil paper, <laughs> uh, the hard actual metal version, like you get it in your hand, you're like, wow, this this is actually pretty doggone sturdy. Like, I don't get the impression that this will break very easily. I don't really plan on doing a lot of uh, dueling with this. This is more so just gonna be a cosplay prop, but, um, but yeah, and it's actually a lot thinner than uh, another lightsaber that I have. It looked thin on the uh, in the pictures, and it is thin, but it's definitely, it's not too thick, not too thin, basically. Um, I am actually gonna show you guys the, I have a Force FX um, Mace Windu lightsaber here, and this is a little bit uh, more thicker than this one is here, and I definitely like the feel of this one a whole lot better. This one isn't bad, but when you use your hands on this one, you're like, okay, I really feel like this is powerful in my hands. Like, again, not too thick, not too thin. Doesn't feel too big in your hands. Feel like a nice sturdy grip to it. Um, but yeah, a lot of nice, so you, got, you definitely can also use this for either one-handed, uh, two-handed, whatever your style is there. Um, I'm probably gonna switch between regular hold and uh, and reverse grip again you'll I'll show you why in a little bit um, but we got a nice little uh, guarded um, switch here this is one thing I like about ultra sabers uh, sabers is that with this one the grip um, I might as well just turn it on and <laughs> show you that you guys really want to see that part anyway um, just pushing it in and it's pretty doggone bright um, side note when you get an ultra saber yes you can take the um, the blade out. Do not make the same mistake that me and my coworker made and looking into the hilt while this thing is on. It won't damage your eyes, but it won't be fun either. All right, so yeah, so don't don't make that mistake. I'll save you some pain. Um, but yeah, so very easy to turn on, turn off, um, but it's not easy to accidentally turn off, which is the case for my uh, force effect saber. This, this is a switch, you turn it on there, and while you're twirling it, it's very easy to accidentally turn that off. Um, so that becomes pretty annoying when you're, you know, just playing around with it. Um, but yeah, let me turn the lights off so you guys can see just how bright this thing really is. Here we go. Now this is, uh, I forgot to mention this earlier, I got the Ultra Edge mid-grade. Um, I'm not sure what the differences are with the other, um, with the other grades of blades, um, but if you're interested in seeing what an Ultra Edge looks like, this is it. So if you've seen what the other ones look like, you can, you know, of course, compare how they look. Um, I do notice that, and this isn't a, bad thing to me but I do notice it's a, it's a whole lot brighter here it doesn't it gets a little less bright right up in this area I don't know if that comes across on the camera or not but um but yeah and again it's not a detriment it's just something I've noticed but with this one 
thing I did notice with this from the uh, force effects is that it does go all the way through the tip here. All right, now if I show you the force effects, it does not quite go all the way through here. Still pretty bright, still good. And as you can tell, I did not get sound on my, uh, my Dominix. Um, that's because I'm broke. I'm a cosplayer with uh, a married cosplayer with a child, and um, yeah, budget is not too too good right now. Um, Y'all, life and life and health not not my life. Health insurance is a mofo. Anyway, uh, if you want to get a saber with sound, that's about another hundred dollars on top of what you're uh, what you're paying. I've heard that you can actually get. Um, if you get one without sound, you can always upgrade it to sound later. They can either send you the stuff or you can actually send your saber back and uh, get it with sound. At least that's what I've heard. I hope that that's true. Let me turn these lights back on real quick. All right, but yeah, so I did not get it with uh, sound. I mean, I would love to have it with sound, but at, this, at the end of the day, I'm gonna be using these at conventions and with all the noise and everything, especially if you go to a big convention, you know, I mean, yeah, you'll hear it, but it's, it's whatever. Um, having it was more important than having it with sound to me anyway. Um, now, let me get into why I picked this particular one. Um, I didn't get any windows in the emitter with this one. Uh, I probably will with others later on down the road. And also didn't get something that had a whole lot of extra extraness going on here because I plan on modifying this anyway. Uh, my idea is that I'm actually going to um, do another mashup um, with Star Wars. Uh, I was inspired by all the, uh, you know, with you know Disney taking over Star Wars, uh, there's a lot of people who have cosplayed as Jedi Disney princesses, which I thought was dope. Um, and I thought to myself one day, uh, what if I do a Jedi Disney prince? But I was like, eh, other than Aladdin, I don't really identify with any of them. Um, none of them stand out to me. Ask yourself, did, can you name any of the Disney princes other than Aladdin? I mean, you got a couple of other guys and you got like, you know, Flynn Rider and uh, some other guys, but they're not, he's not a prince technically. But anyway, all of the traditional ones, like who's who's the prince that goes along with um, Snow White? Who's the prince that goes along with Cinderella? Who's the prince that goes along with anybody? Like, name one. Don't worry, I'll wait. Can't do it, right? I can't anyway. So I'm like, uh, and, and also you wouldn't recognize them unless you were with if they were with the princess of that story, right? So then I thought, okay, what if I do a Sith Disney villain? Yeah, that, I was like, whoa, let's do that. So I decided I would do Sith Jafar. Um, finally figured out how I was gonna do this. So I actually got a 3D printed Cobra head. Big shout out to Fun Orders on uh, Etsy, Fun Orders. They uh, printed out this uh, nice cobra head for me here. And I did goof and had them do the diameter of the bottom a little too small, but I didn't think this through. I should have tried to do this standing up. But anyway, uh, at some point, I am going to super glue this to the bottom here and make Jafar's stab. Of course, I'm gonna sand this down a little bit, um, spray paint it. I don't know if I'm gonna do bronze or antique gold, something like that. But basically, this will be his uh, his saber staff. I don't know if I'm gonna come up with another name for that, but anyway. But yeah, this is also why I mentioned it being a reverse grip because I'm gonna hold it up like this, not quite like this, because this is a bad angle. Again, I didn't think this through. Um, but yeah, so I'll be holding it upright, so it's going to be a reverse grip in terms of how you hold a lightsaber. Um, but yeah, that's the other reason I didn't really want a whole lot going on, because I was, I'm going to spray paint this thing anyway. So I don't want a whole bunch of it. I still want it to look somewhat like a, like a sorcerer's staff. 
So I don't want a whole bunch of extra bells and whistles going on right in this area. But yeah, um, probably gonna do another video later on once I start working on this, show you guys the progress of it as I get it painted, get it uh, super glued on there, and then the finished product. And then hopefully uh, before Dragon Con comes around, I always use Dragon Con as my um, beginning and end of my cosplay year. Um, anything new that I that I plan on doing, Dragon Con is my deadline. So that way I don't stress myself out about stuff. Uh, if it's ready by Dragon Con, cool. If not, and if I have something ready for a con before that, then I'll use it. If not, then I'll just use anything that I've already had made for any cons in between now and then. I'm not with that whole, I mean, yeah, I go through con crunch, but I'm not with that whole thing where, and if this is you, this is not It's not a diss to you. This is just how I prefer to do things. If it's not ready a week before the con, I'm done. I mean, if I, if I okay, if I have a couple of extra tweaks to make before, you know, within the week of that I feel like I can do stress-free, yeah, but I'm not, I'm not about to be up in the hotel room still sewing something or still putting something together if I don't have to. So I feel like I would not enjoy the con because I'm too busy in my room fixing something. Again, if that's you, more power to you. I'm not dissing you. That's just how I look at things, you know. Um, but anyway, uh, that's it for me tonight, guys. Uh, again, I'll be bringing you some more videos as I, as I make progress on things, getting new props in. Um, well, you guys have a good night, and I'll see you again soon. See, see, your cattle, pop up, pop up.